hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video i'll be sharing with us our short experience at the airport while traveling to the uk from nigeria so first thing for us we need to get to the airport like four hours before your departure time because you're going to be going through lots of checks here and there you don't want to be under any kind of pressure right so this is my daughter here all excited okay so the first tip i want to share with us is that if you're going with lots of full stuff make sure you use ghana musgo very very important don't buy fancy boxes to pack food yeah the boxes are going to weigh a lot and you're going to cheat yourself so that's it so at this point we're already passed through some checks we're already trying to you know um board the plane but we had some checks to pass through then secondly make sure you weigh all your baggages before you get to the airport trust me some people had to remove some stuff at the airport some people had to remove all their stuffs from their um big boxes and start buying ghana must go at very very ridiculous prices like the size I bought was one five per one. At the airport, is about seven thousand naira for one Ghana must go. You don't want to be frustrated, right? So, be prepared. So, like I said, I didn't do much video, and at this point, my husband already had to go back. You know, so I had to do the videos myself. So I couldn't capture all the moments. Anyway, we are flying with Virgin Atlantic, and we're already boarding onto the plane right here. This madam was just jumping all over the place, you know. So yeah, we didn't see. So we're in the um, plane here. We are not um, we are not um, taking off here. So we're just here feeling funky. And I forgot to tell you, hmm, to sit near the window, we had to pay extra money to sit near the window. Mm. So here, I think we're already flying here. And at this point, I'm already feeling hungry, but I was sure waiting, waiting for what they had to offer us. So, to my amazement, ah, Omo, they really treated us really nice. So, um, they first of all gave us one snack like that, I didn't video that part. Then, after like one hour, they gave us a jollof rice. Ah, the rice was sweet, but it was too small. Ah, no day. Anyway, they gave us a lot of rice and plantain. They gave us one bread like that, one cake. They gave us chicken. Ah, my daughter was doing smash me. Ah, my kukuma ate it, sir. When she was still for me, I'm not hungry. She, she wanted to eat the snacks. So I ate. I ate my own rice. I ate her own too, <laughs> you know. Then um, later, they were just going around. They gave us um, this is, I don't know. You see, I don't know what to call it. Chips, cake. They give us coffee. They were just giving us dishi dishi. Later, Madame got tired. She was sleeping. Mm -hmm. She was battling the window side with me. So we had to exchange seats. She went to the window side. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so here, we already got to hit your airports. Okay. And um, yeah, we didn't carry hand luggage because the, they were nice to us at uh, Ninja Airport. So my hand luggage went with the other baggage. Now we got to London like three thirty. This was where I wasted time. I stood for almost one hour before I saw my luggage. Our luggage. I don't know what happened. I don't know. So we had to. At a point, I was even scared that they had forgotten it in Nigeria. So last last year, what our luggage? Madam was here, and then we had to queue to get a taxi. Yeah, if you're traveling with so much um load, you can't use a train. You need to use a taxi and these are the taxis and then <clears throat> so maybe in another video i will tell us how to get a cheap taxi from the airport this taxi was expensive ha hmm. because except you're carrying maybe hand, hand luggage and one small bag you can take the train but you have so much luggage like ours here you need to go with the taxi so this is the taxi here so the distance from where I, um, from Heathrow airport to the airbnb we got was about 45 minutes guys the charge was 90 pounds i wanted to cry jesus 90 pounds 
please don't come for me that i'm converting no i didn't convert but i knew that 90 pound was huge but then we didn't have a choice anyway so yeah we had traveling to the airbnb that we got you know so that's all i could record like i said just me and my daughter at the moment so i couldn't do much you know so in my upcoming videos i'll show some more stuff you know like the the airbnb we got how we got there blah 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 and all of that yeah so that'll be all for now i hope you to enjoy this video thank you so much for watching